Maybe I just found the answers Maybe I just found the answers in you <laughs> Come give me all your love <laughs> I want you to know We can make it together Let the wind blow All we need is each other Are you happy? Um, so I had other plans for today, but plans are changing now. Um, Lauren was supposed to have class, but she is sick now. Um, she started being a little um, congested yesterday, but nothing like bad. And Ashlyn had a bit of a runny nose and she's kind of congested now. But this morning, London came out here. She seemed fine when she first got up, but now that we've been up for a while, she's pretty miserable. Um, she has a fever uh, over 104, and she has really bad chills. She just, she looks so miserable, and she's congested and coughing and sneezing, and there she is. So I just got off the phone with her doctor's office, with the nurse. And we got an appointment for 1 p.m. It's currently 11. So we're going to take her in, get her tested just so that we know, so that Christopher can tell his job if um, she's positive. And then obviously he would have to take off of work and quarantine and stuff like that. So we're getting her tested and taking her in to be seen today. Um, I was also supposed to finish up some cleaning today. But honestly, I don't know if I'm going to even bother at this point i'm probably just gonna like um hang out with her keep her company try and keep her comfortable um i gotta find the ibuprofen because apparently tylenol just doesn't work very well for my kids anymore um because i had to get ibuprofen the last time ashen was sick um what was it last month i think she was sick um, and I had to go pick up ibuprofen for her, but I do not know where it is in this house. It's somewhere in the house. I just don't know where. So I need to find that to use instead of the Tylenol because the Tylenol is not working. Given that her fever went up instead of down. Uh, I checked her temperature at 10 and it was 103 and that's why I called. And then while I was on the phone with the nurse, she asked me to check again and it was over 104. So it had gone up even though I gave her Tylenol. Um, she had Tylenol like an hour ago, so yeah, she just doesn't feel good. So we're gonna chill, we're gonna relax um, until it's time to go to her appointment and then get her tested and then we'll just have to wait the day or two for her results and hopefully she'll feel better. Ashlyn seems to be in a good mood right now, but she is still a little congested. She's having trouble nursing because she can't breathe out of her nose very well, so she kind of like has to take breaks and get her air. What are you doing? Are you happy? See, I got her all dressed like we were going to go to class, but then I just, like London was just shaking so bad while I was trying to get her dressed, and I was like, no, you're sick. No, we're not doing that. Which is sad because I think they were going to do an Easter egg hunt today, so I'm kind of sad that she's going to miss that, but what can you do? Things happen, you gotta go with the flow when you have kids. So currently I'm trying to get her to drink some fluids. I got her some juice to make sure she stays hydrated because that's important. Are you sick? Huh? You don't feel good? Yeah, you gotta go to the doctor? You have to. They have to check you out because you're sick. Aww. You want to take a nap? We're sitting here watching TV while I'm on the f like I was waiting for them to call me back and while I was on the phone she was laying next to me and like she was dozing off so bad. 
and she's really cranky. Ashley was trying to play with her and London was not having it. <laughs> you don't feel warm. She felt a little warm earlier, but I didn't check her temperature and now she feels, she doesn't feel too warm now. But this one feels really hot to the touch. You okay? Are you okay? Hmm? You sick? No. You are sick. Okay, so I've got everyone ready. Um, and we're gonna be leaving in about 15 Ready. minutes. I'm ready. Um, go figure, London acts completely miserable all morning, and then as soon as it's almost time for her to see the doctor, she starts to perk it up, so it makes me look kind of crazy, but I guess I'm still glad to be taking her in. That's just how it always works. I always call like, oh yeah, my kid has this high fever and they're so sick and blah, blah, blah. And then it's like, I bring them in and they're barely, they barely seem sick anymore. And it's like, dude, she was literally just like so miserable all morning. And now she's like, I mean, she's still sick. She's just not as like sluggish and um, bad as she was earlier. Nike. Come here. Come on. Come here. Come here. Come on. Dude. Come here. Goodness. Minnesota can get control and get that three and four down. Oh, man, he just played that round so... I'm taking London to the doctor. Okay. Hello, and thank you for calling Akron Children's Hospital Pediatrics. If this is a medical emergency, please hang up and dial 911. Otherwise, please listen to this message in its entirety. To schedule or change an appointment, press 1. For prescription, the Molly Ann Grease Foundation presents the Safe Sleep Academy website at safesleepforbabies.org. Share with your family, friends, and babysitters, and test your skill in putting babies to sleep safely. Visit safesleepforbabies.org. All representatives are still busy assisting other callers. Your call is very important to us. Please continue yes. to hold and your call will be answered by the next available representative. Oh, you pooped. Nice. Thank you for holding. We'll be with you soon. Your call is very important to us. Please continue to hold and your call will be answered. You! <laughs> Thank you, London. Just waited on hold for over five minutes and she hits the call. All representatives are currently busy assisting other callers. Please hold and your call will be answered by the next available representative. You will your illness in your doctor's office. Yes. Waited on hold for ten minutes. Ten minutes. It's now just past our appointment time and I don't know if I should just go in because usually they send you a text to say hey check in on with this link sit in the car until we're tell you you're ready well I didn't get a text since this was a last minute appointment and the lady on the phone earlier said if you don't get that text call when you get there to check in and then they'll tell you when to come in or whatever but I can't get a hold of them because apparently they're being bombarded with calls right now and I have no idea why they would have so many calls all of a sudden so I don't know if I should just go in because if this were a regular like healthy appointment yeah I would just go in but because she's sick I don't know if I should Mine's massive. but we aren't getting anywhere Come on. Come over here. Come on. Come on, 
don't feel good for you sick today? Do you want to get up on the table? Yeah. This is a little stuff to play. So what's been going on with her? Um, she was fine and then yesterday she started showing some congestion and then today, um, she started just getting really bad chills and her mm. fever spiked way up. And Aww. So she's right now. Very miserable. Called. Yeah. Is she saying ears or anything like that? That you? I mean, they don't always tell you, no. No, she still yeah. isn't at that point where she like tells me things yeah. like that. Yeah. Yeah. So. How about eating, drinking? Um, she hasn't wanted to eat this morning. She's she drank some milk and then some juice. Okay. So she's been drinking all right. Okay. Not, she hasn't wanted to eat. Okay. Have you guys been around anybody who's been sick or? No, we haven't like been around anyone confirmed of anything. Mm -hmm. I mean, we've been around people, but I, yeah, like I don't know anything about yeah. them. Yeah, well, yeah. Just being out in public, I guess. Yeah, so. yeah. Okay. Good job. Okay. Mm -hmm. Of course, she does the normal kid stuff. It's like all morning she's just miserable, and then as soon as you get to the doctor's office, <laughs> they start to put on. Oh, yeah, it's okay. We're gonna take this you so carefully. It usually doesn't like right beer too much, ears. though. <laughs> you being so cooperative and good. <laughs> you are such a good girl. Her ears are perfect. Let's see, we're going to take this down. Can you open your mouth? They are. Open up real big. Oh, oh so good. Make it a little bit bigger. <laughs> Stick your tongue out. Say, ah. There you perfect. Go. I mean, maybe a hint of breakfast, but nothing was really striking. You do feel warm. She felt a lot warmer earlier, mm -hmm. but then the pilot all finally came in. Oh, she got it! Oh, you're done. You did so good. Well, I'm sure that pilot was going to be too. Um, Do you want to do that? Yeah, I'm going to do so, uh, I know you're messing with messing, you know, COVID testing and all that. It, I mean, I think it's probably a good decision to go ahead and test her since it was a pretty high fever. Fortunately, we haven't been seeing a lot. Like, it's been a while since I've seen any cases here. Like, with the numbers going down, we're definitely seeing that. So, um, I would, you know, continue to treat it with, you know, increased fluids, Tylenol, just things to help her feel comfortable. And then we'll do the nose swab here. My guess is since it's the afternoon, it'll probably, what is this, Wednesday? Tuesday. This is Tuesday. <laughs> this is Tuesday. Um, my guess is it'll probably be back Thursday. Could be Friday, but like usually we get anywhere from one to three days. Usually this afternoon it kind of goes into that second day. No, that's it. Okay. Yeah, yours look great, but they can change any time. So if she still has a fever in a couple of days, we'll, I'd probably bring her back and we'll recheck them. So okay. hopefully they don't change on us. So. All right, she'll be right in. Okay, thank you. Oh, thank you. <laughs> I almost don't want to do this, Mom. <laughs> You're so good. Aww. You got one more thing, and you're going to hate it, but you got to do it. We have to wait a couple days for those results. 
And go figure, children love to make their parents look crazy. Um, so, you know, she was acting miserable this morning, had a fever of over 104. So I call the doctor, I get an appointment, and right before her appointment, she starts acting better. We get to the doctor's office and they took her temperature there and she had no fever. So I, it looks like she wasn't even that sick. And then we come back home and her fever's back up over 100 and she's acting miserable again, refusing to eat, refusing to drink. She won't even eat ice cream. Like she doesn't even want her ice cream. She screamed her head off when I gave her some ibuprofen and is back to acting miserable. And it's like, why? Why do kids love to make a, us look crazy? <laughs> it's like she almost made it seem like I took her to the doctors for no reason, which I mean, I'm glad I did because the main reason that I actually took her in because I mean, if it is like a cold or whatever, there's not much that you can do besides give ibuprofen for a fever, but she can't have cold medicine or anything like that because she's too young. So the main reason that I went in anyways was to make sure that it wasn't an ear infection, which the doctor said her ears look fine and to get her COVID tested just in case. That way, if she is positive, we know and Christopher will have to quarantine from work. mommy. Because, oh, now you want to drink? But as I explained earlier, my plans today was supposed to be to clean, but now I'm just worried about um, keeping London happy and comfortable. So she's chilling watching a movie and now that I have some free time instead of cleaning, I guess I'm going to do my nails, which I was going to do in a couple of days or something like that. I was going to do them at some point, I just didn't know when. But I'm going to use this time to do it because I got some new stuff to try. I ordered off of Amazon, so I'm going to do my nails and maybe London's nails as well if she wants. Okay, so I got a bunch of new nail polishes, first of all. But the main things that I want to try, I got these... Thank you. I got these little stands. Um, they're like nail stands. So basically I can attach the nail to this and I can paint the nail on here instead of having to try and do it on when they're already on my fingers because then you can't be as precise and like, you know, it's hard to do both hands when you're like only good with one hand. Like I'm right handed. I'm decent at painting my left hand, but when it comes to painting my right hand, it's horrible. So this way I can paint them all easily and not have to worry about fighting them on my fingers. So, I paint nails. Yeah, I can put the nails on here, do whatever design I want, and then glue them on at the very end. That way they look a lot better, hopefully. Um, I got some like brush and daughter tools, just to hopefully do some more. Um, I don't want to say intricate because I'm not going to do anything too crazy because I mean I'm not that talented but you know I can just I can do some more things other than just like basic colors um and then also I got some new um nails some new fake nails because I hate my natural nails they're annoying so it's a big old thing of they're coffin shaped because that's my favorite nail shape and it also comes with glue as well, so that's great. I finished uh, London's nails, so she's got some yellow with some purple polka dots. Hey, <laughs> quit holding your hand like that. Mm, focus. And some sparkles, and the other hand is the same but opposite colors. And then on her toes, had to get a different battery, but I'm trying to show her toes. Stop flexing your big toe. Thank you. She chose pink and I put a flower. So, you know, they're super cute. Go show daddy your nails. No. No. I finished painting my nails. Um. But I'm not going to put them on yet because I do not want to ruin them after spending <laughs> all that time on them. And they still are a bit tacky. So I think I'm going to let them dry for a day or something like that. Just to make sure they're fully, fully dry and don't get ruined. But I don't know if you can really see, but this is the design I went with. It's kind of like, I did the blue because it's kind of like a springtime Easter-y vibe. So... 
I am going to just whip up some soup and grilled cheese because that is the best feel good meal when you're sick for dinner. Um, so got some chicken noodle soup, you want some soup? You got Paw Patrol soup, you want that? You want Paw Patrol soup?